In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to uninstall the ActiveX add-on. So first, to do so, we will make sure that Internet Explorer and any Office programs are uninstalled. And you'll notice we've got that here. So next, we want to open our Task Manager. And there are a couple ways to do that. First, we can click Control-Alt-Delete on the keyboard and then select Task Manager. Or we can go down to the taskbar, right-click, and go to Start Task Manager. And we want to go to the Processes tab and scroll down until we get to the ends. And we want to select nenote.exe and we want to end that process. The any note process is basically the ActiveX, so we want to kill that process, make sure it's not running before we do the next step. So let's close this window. And next we want to go to both of these locations. Let me open them up here. You'll notice the first one is this file path here. C drive, Windows, downloaded program files. And we want to delete anything that starts with NE. So that's any note, any web, any web CL, um, all three of these. And you may need administrator access to do that. And next we'll go to this location, Z drive, program files, x86, net documents. And we'll do the same thing. Anything that starts with NE, we'll delete those. Now, of course, these files may not exist in one of these locations. It'll at least be in one of those, possibly both. So once that's done, we'll, you can close those. And we'll reopen Internet Explorer. And now notice it's prompting us down here to install the ActiveX. It's because it's not installed, we just uninstalled it. So if we click Install, and it's reinstalled now, and you can go ahead and log in. Uh, and so that's how to uninstall and reinstall the ActiveX add-on.